Hello everybody, and welcome to home. This is a game on Steam, and it is a uh, survival horror game. Um, why don't you just join me for it? It's really weird. Okay. All I remembered at that point was finding myself alone. Oh. Oh, my head. Where was I? It was so dark. There was something by my feet. A, a flashlight. So as you can see, it's like a dark and dreary atmosphere. Welcome to Robbie Plays Halloween Special. Okay, let's go. All right. The house. Where was I? There was a body lying on the floor. Who was it? I don't know. Oh, okay, Mr. Kitty. Alrighty then. You want to come back and be friends? Okay. Don't come back and be friends. Fine, fuck you! <laughs> hmm? Hmm. Spooky ghosties and flashlights. Okay, let's see here. The desk had a computer and some papers on it. And a single drawer. I didn't want to snoop, but did I open the drawer? <laughs> Fuck yeah! Receipts, pens, and a blurry photo look like the store, a uh, store of some kind. Why did this look so familiar? I don't know. Why did it? Blood on the wall. It smelled fresh and sickening. I realized there was blood on my shoes and pants. Oh man, I had to get out of here. That didn't sound good. Okay, so. I'm wondering what the fuck he's doing here. Uh, I, I played about like two minutes of this game and it was literally just me running around like this. And uh, cause I wanted to get used to it before uh, you guys got to watch me play it. I noticed that I limped as I moved down the stairs. How did I hurt my leg? I wondered. All I could really recall was coming home, seeing Rachel. I was upset, she looked afraid. I shook my head and she and tried to clear it. I knew I should head downstairs. Try to find a way out. What the fuck is going on? Okay. Books. The shelf was full of books. And a local history on a haunting. Whatever. Hunting. Whatever. Seemed, seemed like the owner of the house really knew the area. Hmm, if you know what I'm saying. He knew his area. All day long. Alright, let's go. <laughs> mm. What the... F okay. Ah. Okay, I'm gonna go to... No one's here. Oh, a black and white photo. Looked like the man upstairs and his wife, I guess. There was no way there was no reason for me to keep this. Did I take this? Well, for you and your jack off purposes, I'd say yes, let's take it. I slipped the photo into my pocket. Maybe this would help me find some answers. An old dining table covered in dirty dishes for two people. There were dozens of beer cans and other liquor liquor bottles among the dishes. The smell was turning my stomach. Well then, sounds like someone should take two tits of Pepto-Bismol and call me in the morning. Oh! All right. <laughs> I love how it says it's a flashlight, but it's more like a lantern. Okay. Anyway, moving on. <laughs> oh, what are you? A thin gray mouse was stuck in a trap and looked frantic but exhausted. Did I free it? Yes. You're lucky. You're, you're a fine mouse friend. Be free! No one lives in this house anyway. A photo similar to the old one I picked up. It's been moved a lot. There seemed to be a switch behind it. Did I push the switch? Yes. I depressed... It depressed smoothly into a wall. I heard a faraway click somewhere. Okay. Maybe it's upstairs. Maybe it's back in the dining room. What was that? <laughs> I'm not terrified. I'm morbidly obese. <laughs> Sorry, guys. My gamepad has been, like, fucking up on my computer lately, so... It kind of, like, just stops and stalls. But, uh... Look at Sir Witherbottom. That's his name. Sir Witherbottom. I will name him that. And he shall... He shall enjoy it. Okay, now let's look for what the switch did. Did it 
do anything in here? No? Oh, okay. Did it do anything over here? Nope, did nothing. Great. <laughs> Sorry, there's a spider on my computer and it wants to play games too, but I can't let it. Okay. Well, since I explored everything up here, let's go back downstairs. Did I check this room? I can't remember if I checked this room. Pretty sure I checked this room, but let's double check. Nope. Okay. You heard a small click somewhere. Huh. Maybe it's downstairs. Damn spider! You are adorable, but stop it! I look like hell. My clothes were dirty and torn, and there was a mud mud caked all over my shoes. From burying your wife? The front door was blocked by a pile of furniture. I knew I had to find another way out. Hmm. Another way, huh? Maybe. Oh, wow. What was that? Someone tried to touch my butt. I did not enjoy that. Okay, let's see here. The door was taped and taped up and seemed to be stuck. By the smell of it, I guess it led to the kitchen. The switch on the wall worked. The door had been unlocked. Ooh, what's in here? Okay. Oh, uh, no, 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 no. We're not going there. I, I am... Not going. What the fuck? Do, what? What the fuck is? Did the mouse help me? Yes, it did. It helped me. Thank you, mouse, for unlocking the door. There were sheets of paper all over the kitchen table. It looked like a series of names were written down, but they were too smudged to read. I could only make out a few of the notes. Key card. Ocker. Last one. I promise. It didn't make much sense at the time. Well, key card, locker, last one, I promise. Okay, this place is really disturbing. I'm gonna go outside now. Did I check this? No, no I don't think I did. The bathroom was spotless. Everything had been wiped to a sheen. I wondered if it was the man's wife who did the cleaning for him. There was a photo development tray lying on the floor. Some leftover negatives were sticking out, but they were petty. I mean, pretty blurry, not petty blurry. I thought I saw what looked like treetops. Interesting. Not interesting enough, though. For we must escape. We must escape this tortured hellhole. I don't know what the fuck is going on, but we must escape it. I don't know if I'm helping you and you're a murderer or what now. The box looked heavy, but there were marks on the floor. It had obviously been moved before. Maybe I had found a way out. I must have moved it, right? I heaved the box forward and it finally gave. Okay, let's go down here. A dank smell rose from the passage. Did I climb down the ladder? Yes. I looked again at the photo I found in the house. The couple looked distant, like they didn't want to be in the same picture. Hmm. I wondered where the wife was. My leg was in terrible shape, but I had to get out. Okay. So we're going to walk now. Oh, what is that? Footprints in the dirt. Look like more than one kind. And a lot of traffic. Okay, so there must be two people killing people, I guess. Places all over were marked on the old map of town. The industrial area was near the river. Various houses and even the water tower near the old rail station. Hmm. You know, this game is very weird, but I like it a lot. A work table covered in papers, dirt, and a handgun. I hated guns. Did I... I didn't take it, did I? No, I guess not. I didn't even want to touch the thing. Better I left it right where it was. Okay, well, we won't take it because you don't like handguns. Had I looked at everything there before? Moving on. Pretty sure I... Pretty sure we checked everything. Oh, no. Newspaper clippings from the local newspaper. They were all about murders in town over the last few years. Wait. 
There were photos. Photos of our house. What the hell was that about? Maybe I should have looked around more. Tried to find some kind of information. Dude, I, I looked around the entire house. There was nothing there about your house, you fucking... Never mind. Okay. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching this with me. This is my Halloween special, so I will keep going until the game is finished. So, thank you guys so much for watching, and as always, stay frosty.